Macbeth, Act 4, Scene 1, a cave, in the middle of boiling cauldron. The three witches prepare a potion in a boiling kettle. When Macbeth arrives, demanding to know his future, the witches raise three apparitions. The first, an armed, helmeted head, tells him to beware of Macduff. Next, a bloody child assures Macbeth that he will never be harmed by anyone born of woman. The third apparition tells him that he will never be defeated until the trees at Burnham Wood move toward his castle at Dunsinane. Macbeth, now confident of his future, asks about Banquo's sons. His confidence fades when the witches show him a line of kings who all resemble Banquo, suggesting that Banquo's sons will indeed be kings. Macbeth curses the witches as they disappear. Lennox enters the cave and tells Macbeth that Macduff has gone to the English court. Hearing this, Macbeth swears to kill Macduff's family. Thrice the brinded cat hath mewed. Thrice, and once the hedge pig whined. Papia cries, tis time, tis time. Round about the cauldron go, in the poisoned entrails throw. Toad that under cold stone, days and nights has thirty-one. Sweltered venom sleeping got, boil thou first in the charmed pot. Trouble, trouble, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. The lit of a fenny snake in the cauldron boil and bake. Eye of mute and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog, adder's fork and blind worm sting, lizard's leg and howlet's wing. For a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth boil and bubble. Trouble, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn and cauldron bubble. Scale of dragon, tooth of wolf, witches, mummy, maw, and gulf of the raven, salt sea shark. Root of hemlock, dig in the dark, liver of blaspheming Jew, gall of goat, and slip. Of you slivered in the moon's eclipse, nose of Turk and Tartar's lips, <sighs> finger of birth, strangled bait, ditch delivered by trap, make the gruel thick and slap. Add that to a tiger's shot up for the ingredients of a cauldron. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. Cool it with a baboon's blood, then the charm is firm and good. Oh, well done, I commend your pain. And everyone shall share in the games. And now about the cauldron sing like elves and fairies in a ring, enchanting all that you put in. Round, 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 By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Open, knocks, whoever knocks. How now, you secret black and midnight hags? What is to do? A deed without a name. I conjure you by that which you profess. Howe'er you come to know it, answer me. Though you untie the winds and let them fight against the churches, though the yeasty waves confound and swallow navigation up, though bladed corn be lodged and trees blown down, though castles topple on their warders' heads, though palaces and pyramids do slope their heads to their foundations, though the treasure of nature's Germans tumble all together, even till destruction sicken. Answer me to what I ask you. 
Speak, demand your answer. Say if the hadst rather hear it from our mouths or from our masters. Call them. Let me see them. Pour in sow's blood that hath eaten her nine pharaoh. Grease that sweating from the murderer's gibbet throw into the flame. Um, high or low, thyself and office deftly show. Tell me, thou unknown power. He knows thy thought. Hear his speech, but say thou not. I hear thee. Be bloody, bold, and resolute. Laugh to scorn the power of men, for none of woman born shall harm Macbeth. I live, Macduff. What need I fear of thee? But yet I'll make assurance double sure and take a bond of fate. Thou shalt not live, that I may tell pale-hearted fear it lies and sleep in spite of thunder. What is this that rises like the issue of a king and wears upon his baby brow the round and top of sovereignty? Listen, but speak not to it. Be lion metal, proud, and take no care. Who chafes, who frets, or where conspirers are. Macbeth shall never vanquished be until great Burnham Wood to high Dunsinane Hill shall come against him. That will never be. Who can impress the forest, bid the tree unfix his earthbound root? Sweet bodements, good. Rebellious dead, rise never till the wood of Burnham rise, and our high-placed Macbeth shall live the lease of nature, pay his breath to time and mortal custom. Yet my heart throbs to know one thing. Tell me, if your art can tell so much, till Banquo's issue ever reign in this kingdom. Seek to know no more. I will be satisfied. Deny me this and an eternal curse fall on you. Let me know. Why sinks that cauldron? And what noise is this? Show. 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 Show his eyes and grieve his heart. Come like shadows. So divine. Like the spirit of Banquo. Down! Thy crown does sear mine eyeballs, and thy hair, thou other gold bound brow, is like the first, a third is like the former. You filthy hags! Why do you show me this? A fourth, start eyes! What will the line stretch out to the crack of doom? Another yet? A seventh? I'll see no more. And yet the eighth appears who bears a glass which shows me many more. And some I see the twofold balls and treble scepters carry. Horrible sight. Now I see tis true. For the blood boltered Banquo smiles upon me and points at them for his. Is this so? I 
Yeah, all this is so. But why stands Macbeth thus amazingly? Come, sisters, cheer we up his sprites and show the best of our delights. I'll charm the air to give a sound while you perform your antic round. That this great king may kindly say our duties did his welcome pay. Where are they? Gone? Let this pernicious hour stand I accursed in the calendar. Come in! Without there! What's your grace's will? Saw you the weird sisters? No, my lord. Can they not buy you? No, indeed, my lord. Infected be the air whereon they ride, and damned all those that trust them. I did hear the galloping of horse who must came by. Tis two or three, my lord, that bring you word Macduff has fled to England. Fled to England? Aye, my good lord. Time now anticipates my dread exploit. The flighty purpose never is o'ertook unless the deed go with it. From this moment, the very firstlings of my heart shall be the firstlings of my hand. And even now, to crown my thoughts with acts, be it thought and done. The castle of Macduff I will surprise, seize upon Fife, give to the edge of the sword his wife, his babes, and all unfortunate souls that trace him in his line. No boasting like a fool. This deed I'll do before this purpose cool. But no more sights. Where are these gentlemen? Come bring me where they are. 